Um, hello guys, welcome to Digital Dex. Today in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you people how to bypass the Samsung Google verification. After resetting your um, mobile device, you'll be asked to verify the Google account on the device when you reset the device using the hard reset buttons. So all that I'm going to show you people here is how to bypass it and add another account that is only in case of maybe you're forgotten your Google account uh, password. And um, also this is strictly for educational purposes. I'm not in any way encouraging you to steal people's devices for you to use this method on it. So um, let's get started. All that you have to do is this is the first screen that you see after resetting your device. So we tap on this next button. I'm going to show you guys what the Google verification screen is. So tap on next. Mm, I agree. So we'll see if there is an account on the device when I reset it. It will now show up asking me to verify the account first. So let's see. Okay. It's now checking. Okay, verify your account. Use your Google account. And in case I typed in any Google account apart from the one that was on the device, it is not going to allow me to access the device. It will still ask me to verify the Google account that was on the device and the device was reset. So, okay, now let's go back to the first page and let's start the main point of this video. So, you tap on next. Then after tapping on next, uh, you now connect to your Wi-Fi. I used the uh, SIM card then, but then it's all the same. So, um, let me connect to the Wi-Fi now. Used on two, three, A, B, C, D. You can connect to it too if you say. So connect. It's now connecting. So um, okay. It's one, two, three, four, A, B, C, D. That's the password of my Wi-Fi. Okay, it has now connected. So the first step is to access our browser. And in order to do that, we must first enable our talkback. So to enable this talkback, all you need to do is to press this home button thrice. So one, two, three. Talkback enabled and you have to be fast. So after enabling it, we are now going to draw an L gesture on the screen to access the talkback settings so you have to be fast okay l then you now tap on text to speech you double tap on text to speech settings select google text to speech and um, triple tap the home button again to deactivate this one two three it has now deactivated then we now access our settings, install voice data, you know, tap on more, sorry. Now tap on more, then options, feedback. As I said, we are following all this process in order for us to access the browser of the device. So legal help page. Okay, it has now opened. It might ask you which browser to use, so you can select any of the browsers but I advise you to select um, your default phone browser so you now visit our website address that we are going to download the bypasser from it is nckreader.com stroke samlock as you can see stroke samlock Okay, we are going to download this file, this file, and this file. So if your Samsung device is Android 6, that is, um, it's on Marshmallow, you can use this. And it, 
if it's on your lollipop you can use android 5 so first we download this okay still tap on this to download okay you just started downloading it we go back and um we'll download five hundred five okay we download Android five also so it has also started downloading and we go back again we download six in case you are not aware of the OS on your device you download six also so it has also started downloading so now we have downloaded the files how do we access the files so for we to access these files for we to access these files all we have to do is tap on bookmarks then history you tap on your history you tap on your download history to see the files that we've downloaded okay here are the files that we've downloaded first you install the frp lock access the settings enable unknown sources not uh, on check this then okay then install it okay if you try opening it then it will not crash okay now install this account manager for 5.1 and um after installing this account manager all we have to do is to reinstall our frp again and try accessing it to see what happens okay it has installed already then done let's install our frp again this device is using lollipop so that's why i installed the five but then if it didn't work you should now install the six okay this is what it's supposed to show you so you now tap and select browser sign in mm, okay okay so here on this page you can impute any valid google account that you wish to unlock the device with so i'm going to use uh, Fifth now input the password so I'm going to take this off my screen okay I've now inputted the password and I tap on sign in So one moment signing in. Okay, it has signed in. So all you have to do from here is just to go back to our start screen. All you have to do now is to restart the device. So press to restart, press and hold the power button and then tap on restart yes we start so we'll see what's up with this device okay so So if all this process went well, our Samsung device is going to be activated with the Google account that we've signed in. 
previously using the bypass files so I'm gonna tap next okay I'm still connected to the Wi-Fi go next next agree okay this time around it's not supposed to ask us to verify it is just show account added this is how you can bypass uh, samsung google account verification but then this device the device that i used um is uh, the j36 samsung j36 so Okay, it's taking a while. Okay. Maybe my connection is a bit slow. But then as I said, it's not supposed to ask us for verification of Gmail account. As I said, please don't go and steal people devices and um, use this method and then this is strictly for honest educational purposes okay account added so our steps went well tap on next next okay skip if you like you can add but then this is just setting this up uh, to show you guys that the device is fully functional right now I'm going to skip this one too skip finish okay as you can see our device is fully functional right now with the gmail account that I told you guys that we use to activate it it's the gmail that's that it on the device so let's check the settings to confirm mm -hmm. but device let me show you guys the software version of it software info as you can see 5.1 so that's why I use the 5.1. If it is 6, you use the 6. And um, so you can see the grading. These are mails from the mail that I used to sign in. So um, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you found this tutorial helpful, give this video a thumbs up. Share and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to bringing you to recording more interesting videos. For you guys i thank you guys so much i love you all you guys are my inspiration don't forget to hit the like button thank you all so much to have a nice day